Philadelphia Police. Hello, hi, we have an emergency. We have a stab victim. Seven teeth and cancer. What happened? A guy was stabbed in his back. Where's the person that stabbed him? He's running. He's gone. He's gone. Last scene being westbound on Walnut. He's flushing. Large knife. <laughs> You see some brutal things. That crime that night was brutal. Sean was stabbed coming out of a restaurant in Rittenhouse Square. Everyone's in a great mood. It's a beautiful night. Less than an hour later, he's been what? Homicide called me, and they said Michael White is going to surrender himself. He started the altercation. Deliver your food, and Sean's still alive. How does it start with a traffic dispute, and someone ends up getting stabbed? I remember watching the news, and all I remember seeing is the sadness in this boy's eyes. Sean was a good-hearted person. He was humble. It's hard to imagine this earth without him walking on it. People were speaking about Sean. He was a good entrepreneur. He, he was turning the city around. And that stuff is true. There's another side. I'm like, Michael, I want you to tell me, did you stab him? He said, I don't remember stabbing him. Someone who has no criminal record doesn't just start assaulting people on the street. Something was off here. Sean had coke in his system. Witnesses said he had bloodlust in his eye. Sean was a wrestler. He rushed him. It was a situation that got way out of control. It became a big story because you were dealing with someone who had money, privilege, connections, and you had a kid from North Philadelphia. I just worried about when I was going to get the opportunity to tell the truth. If I don't make them feel where I'm coming from, it's over. An emotionally charged trial is set to... This is straight up classic self-defense. Michael White was protecting himself. That's why he had the knife in the first place. I don't know if he meant to kill him, but he meant to stab him damn hard. There was more to this case than what the media was reporting. This case is an absolute disgrace. You just wonder how this is going to play out. I scoured that neighborhood looking for cameras, looking for witnesses. We found the video. Everything was happening so fast. Boom, like that. They arrived at an intersection at the exact same moment. What happened next took seconds, and two people's lives are forever changed. 